Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to talk about uh, this pattern, only the pattern, we are not uh, covering uh, the texturing, but I would like to reproduce uh, this weaving pattern. Uh, this is made by Martin Mills, he is an environment artist at City Project Red. Yeah, I found this uh, really interesting to, to make and I really how, love how the way he uh, rendered this. So a very nice project. I'm gonna focus with you on the, uh, this part here, only uh, the weaving, the weaving part. So there are different ways to approach this. Actually, he went with just a single pattern that he duplicated with a tile generator. Let's see how I did it, and we'll uh, make it together so that you can follow along. So here's my pattern here. Maybe I can do something like this, so that you can see better. Okay, so this is quite precise. All the small triangles have a similar uh, surface area. So basically you have two, you have a set of horizontal lines and a grid that is rotated 45 degrees. So you have diagonals, uh, both from left to right and from right to left. Perfect. Okay, um, so this is how I did it. As you can see, it's quite simple. So let's make it together. I'm just going to show you the, pro the basic process. So for the horizontals, it's just a horizontal band, very simple, quite, uh, quite large. With four uh, dents uh, applied with the help of a gradient, then you just multiply, you just duplicate this band uh, four times with a tile generator. And then what we want is to offset one in every two bands, just uh, slightly. So I just use the two transform 2D nodes. Okay. Then you combine them together with a um, blend node. For the diagonals, it's quite the same at the beginning. So one large band, a tile generator, four bands. And then we want to make a grid. So we have uh, horizon the four horizontal ones and then four vertical ones. So we have a grid and then we rotate it 45 degrees and with the correct, uh, the correct offset and by playing a little bit with the two transform 2D, we can have the a correct weaving pattern and a precise one. So that's it. Let's make it together so that uh, you can also make it with me. So first we want a horizontal band. So very easy to do, a shape uh, can uh, play this role. You just have to modify the vertical uh, size. So it's the Y axis. So then we, we know that we want the indentations, the dance. So we can do that with a simple uh, blend node. You can whether multiply or subtract uh, the gradient information. Let's go with multiply. The gradient information, I just chose uh, gradient linear 2 because it's quite uh, smooth. And I want this to be uh, vertical because we're going to apply, apply it four times. We say it four times uh, like, like this, four verticals. So rotation 90 degrees. Of course, this is too strong, so let's decrease the value. I think I chose 0.6 in the opacity uh, slider, 0.5, okay. And I think that the demarcations are still too, too crisp, so I just use the blur HQ. We do the same to make them even smoother. I think that's, uh, that's quite nice. Uh, what value did I use? Value of 6. Here I have 10. Okay, 
let's make it six. Okay, great. So now we want we know that we want to duplicate this band four times. So to do this, you can choose uh, a time generator. We want only to duplicate this pattern uh, vertically. We want four in the y axis and one in the x axis. Okay, great. The pattern it's the image input, so this input, and okay. That's it. Let's leave it like that for now. And now we we know that ultimately we want eight bands. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that are offset. So we need uh, two transform nodes. And we need to blend those transforms together with a blend node. I think a max lighten would be would be good. So yeah, we want to offset uh, not every line, but uh, yeah, one and two has to be offset. So let's see. Let's say that we are gonna offset this one. We know that we will have to tweak uh, the offset and the position of um, these two sets of lines of bands uh, later on. But right now, let's try to offset them by I don't know, twenty-five point twenty-five. Oh yeah, and also uh, and we need a vertical offset, of course. Let's try 0.15. Okay, 0.15, that works for the offset. So, okay, now we um, just reproduced what I had here. The width of the band is not quite exact for now, but we're gonna change that later. As you can see here, we have some uh, gaps uh, that comes from the tie generator. If we look very closely and hit the space bar to have the tiling uh, visible, we see that our scale is not important enough, so let's try to play with the scale. I think I cannot make this any better. Maybe this is kind of very close to what I want. No, so okay. Best that I can get is point is one point zero 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 five. Okay. Yeah, we don't see anything uh, from that distance. Okay, great. Let's save. Okay, so now we have our eight lines. That's nice. Let's take care of the diagonals now. So we know that it's the same up to this point. It's exactly the same process, so I just duplicate this. And the, what we want to do is uh, to make a grid. So let's go ahead, let's make this grid. So to make the grid, it's quite simple. We just need the horizontal lines. And then to rotate this 90 degrees. Okay, now of course we also here in this case need to make an offset um, for the weaving uh, aspect to, to work. So let's see uh, how I did this. I chose once again an offset, a vertical, uh, horizontal offset of 0.15. So let's do the same here. So point 0.15 it's, is also what we made um, for one of the transform uh, 2D nodes on the x-axis 0.15. So we'll do the same here, x-axis 0.15. And uh, yes, that works. Great. 
Okay, so now we just just need to uh, rotate this grid 45 degrees. Once again, with a safe transform grayscale node. So simple, 45 degrees, great. And we just have to combine this um, diagonal grid with these horizontal lines. So let's do it. Okay, cool. So now it's just a matter of tweaking things a little bit and see if we can uh, get closer to this. So first, what we need to do, of, obviously, is to reduce uh, the width of our horizontal lines. So let's do it. It's very simple. We just have to go to um, the first shape, no uh, shape node. Yes, and just to make things a bit clearer, I make a frame here. Horizontal lines, okay, and here diagonals, diagonal lines, perfect, okay, that's good. Uh, this, I'm just gonna put this away, we don't need this anymore. Okay, that's nice. Well, what we can do also is to plug our height map to uh, our outputs. So I just need one normal node here with uh, yeah, an intensity of 0.5, it's, uh, it's nice. For the height map, I usually use a blur node to uh, smooth out a little bit the, the edges, now avoid too much stretching. And now, uh, yeah, same for the ambient occlusion. It's just a HBAO node with a height depth of 0.02. Okay, great. Let's view the outputs in free view. Okay, that's where we are right now. Still need to do a bit of work. Okay, so let's try, sorry, let's try so you double click on your uh, the result and you click once on the node that you want to modify. So I I know that I just have to uh, change the y value. Let's and basically we want to uh, of course the horizontal to be uh, same size as the diagonals. So it's kind of the case here. You can see that the horizontal are near um, the top and the bottom of the diagonal square, the rotated square. So yeah, I have to move them. So let's try to move this set. Okay, cool. And this set. Also, vertically. Okay, I think it's kind of pretty good actually because all the triangles are about the same size. Um, so now the only difference is that we need to offset um, at least, uh, yeah, we need to offset the lines a little bit. So let's try to offset. Uh, this set of lines uh, on the x-axis, we'll see what that does a little bit. So 0.15 worked initially, now we will need to tweak it a little bit. So let's try 0.17. Yeah, you can try it like that also. Okay, so that seems pretty good actually for this one. Now let's take care of this set. It's going to be here. Once again, let's try to modify the X offset. OK. Uh, we have some contact here. can be tricky, but with the settings that I showed you, you can make it pretty easily. 
well let's try yeah let's try to see how it uh, works in the 3d view i increase the height scale a little bit let's try with a rounded cylinder I think it's okay, actually. Um, the only issues that we can find are caused to by the tire generator. You can see a small um, bump here, vertical bump here. I think it can be taken care of but with the texturing pass, with different effects. You won't able, you won't see this kind of thing from a distance. Even from a close-up with a proper texturing, that's going to be okay. Maybe reduce a little bit the normal intensity. Not too much. Okay, so yeah, uh, that was a nice pattern. Not maybe as easy as it looks, but uh, it's always interesting to do these kinds of exercise. So thanks to Martin for his project. It's a really, uh, really nice project. I really liked it. And uh, I think I will continue to show you uh, different patterns next time for the next videos because it's one of my favorite subjects in uh, Substance Designer, actually. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and see you soon. Bye-bye.